it's me, Chasey Poo. I am loving this shirt that I'm wearing with this background. It looks really great. I am so excited for this video because this review is probably one of the reviews that I have done the most research on and had the most experience with because I literally put this thing on me for two months straight. I never do that with any of these prosthetics. Usually I do a month and then I review them right away or I review something else and I do this, this, this. But I'll explain to you why that is. So yes, I do review other products at the same time as this so maybe it wasn't a consistent two months, but let me tell you that ever since I got this prosthetic, I have not taken it off of me. This is my favorite packer that I have ever packed with. What I used to pack with before is the classic uh, uncut, uncircumcised packer by Real Magic. They're just the classic ones, so they're not super expensive one, they're like 60 bucks or something. Um, that has completely changed. And the reason why, my sweets, and what I am reviewing today is the Gender Cat Amaze Balls 3 inch super soft packer that is self-adhesive. That is a mouthful, just like my dick. I'm kidding. I'm so excited to get to this review. So let's get to, what are we talking about? Show us, wait. You get a discount though. Let me tell you the discount now and then I'll tell you the discount later just so that you know. If you use the discount code CHASE, you get $5 off any purchase that is over $20. Unfortunately, that has to be like a like, like a full purchase instead of one of those uh, the payment plans. They don't do the payment plan with the discount doesn't work. But if you use uh, Amaze Chase, you get twenty dollars off any Amaze Balls products. Hello. Hello, you only have until the end of the month though, so get to that. If you're gonna get this product, you should get to that. You ready? Disclaimer, this is a prosthetic. Don't flag this, it's not for sex. For Whatever, this is the prosthetic. This is it right over here, okay? And you're like, Chase, that just looks like a regular packer. Oh, okay, there's cat hair on everything, just deal with it. So let me show you up really close. Realistically, it doesn't look super realistic. Like, it doesn't look like, like, like the, the, this is the real magic STP, like that. That's a wiener. This is a wiener, but that's way realistic. But this is as realistic as it gets for this type of model, and I'm okay with it. I'm okay with that. More realistic would probably be more expensive anyways. Um, so yeah, see, this is what it looks like. It is super duper duper squishy, and then you're like, oh yeah, the balls. The balls. The balls. The balls! There's balls inside! Ah! This is exciting because other products that I have talked about and touched, these, this is the Real Magic STP, does have the balls, okay? It does have the balls and they move. But, I can't, the, the sack is like loose and mushy and the inside is coconut oil. Now disclaimer, if you are allergic to coconut oil, I have contacted the owner of the company and asked if somebody's allergic, can they supplement it with something else? And he advised me, he said yes. So I don't know what it is, but when you go to buy this thing, they ask you at the end, do you have any allergies? You write that. If you get breakout in hives, absolutely, because the coconut oil is inside these balls, but I feel like sometimes it's secreted outside. It doesn't go on my underwear or anything like that or on my junk, but I do smell it on my fingers and I have no idea why. It's like encased completely. It doesn't leak, it doesn't like feel like there's anything coming out of it. It doesn't look like there's less inside, but for some reason, it just, I, I, I can smell it. Also to point out, if it's really cold outside um, or you just got this out of the box, the balls are really hard because the coconut oil inside is hard. Uh, once you put it under hot water and you move it like that or you just put it in your pants and you let your body do the warming, it'll end up being like literally like this loose. I was just wearing this so that's why it's like this. I also wanna say thank you to everybody who asked questions. I have like a list of, of topics of questions to, add, to answer based on your questions on my unboxing video so I really appreciate that. I will be reviewing like the semi hard and the hard later on so please leave those comments um, on that original video, which I will link below because I need those questions to answer your questions, your answers, your sh whatever. For this packer, you can either uh, get it without the self-adhesive sheep, so you just put this in your underwear and it just stays like that if you're wearing briefs or if you have packing underwear, or you can choose to get it with the self-adhesive sheets. I recommend the sheets. It is like literally nothing other. I have never ever ever dealt with something so awesome before and um, so awesome in fact that I actually put it on my real magic STP 
I don't like the adhesive from Real Magic, and I decided to put it on, and I just did this today. I followed the instructions that you get. There's instructions uh, online that uh, the owner of Gender Cat has on the YouTube channels, and I put it on here, and it works perfectly, and I, I, I love this. I didn't do like the best of a job. It was my first time, okay? but it works with other prosthetics. People were asking me that. It works with this and it also works with Emisil. Um, but I really like the, um, the adhesive. Now, of course, this isn't perfect. Of course not. It doesn't have hair. I really don't like that because you also have to shave like everything in order for this to stick to you. You can go ahead and stick it on you if you have hair, but it will not stick as long as you wish it would, okay? I uh, shaved everything and I put it, then I went on vacation and I didn't do anything and I waited and then I started to grow hair, I started to grow and uh, it started to like stick less and I was like, oh God. So I had to kind of remove all my hair again in order for this to stick and now it sticks perfectly fine. But there's no hair on the outside and that makes me feel very like dysphoric. Even if there was like some weird like ugly ass patch of pubes that they would add for like 50 bucks or something, I would totally do it. Which brings me to the price of this. This price is is $375, okay? I know that's a lot of money. I understand this. Um, I will, I'm not trying to convince you to buy it at all. I'm just telling you my personal experience with it, having tried all of the different packers that I have in the world here. Um, this is literally the best packer. I I, I take flights with this. I, sw I fucking swim with this. I wear a tight Speedo uh, shorts for swimming and I put this on and it never goes away. Probably shouldn't swim with the adhesive because it will start to unstick itself, but it's not going to damage the prosthetic as far as I know. I might be wrong, but I don't think it does. Um, so I swim with this. I would go to the gym if I could go to the gym. I would literally run with this if I could, but I can't test that for you. I'm sorry. I have a really bad knee injury. Um, I can go on the bike with this. I have tried that. Um, like my trainer at home, I've tried that. It's not as uncomfortable because the balls aren't hard like the other prosthetics that have hard balls. They're mushy, so it like works with you. It works with your body. So it's really easy to wash, honestly. You just stick it underwater. This thing, you put a little bit of, um, of dish soap, you put underwater, and then you do that, and then you dry it, and it becomes as sticky, almost as sticky as it was before. It does have some fluffies here. You can kind of see them, like that. you see that, the little dirt. Uh, those are from the underwear, that's normal. Um, you can kind of stretch it and clean it off. Um, the adhesive lasts about two weeks to three months for some people. It really depends on how much you wash it, how much you wear it. Um, I barely take it off and I know that's bad because you should let it breathe, but I like take it off sometimes when I'm sleeping and then sometimes during the day if I'm just at home just because I know I need to like let my area breathe. But the adhesive for me stays about four to five weeks. So that's pretty good. By five, five, week five though, it's almost like really like falling off. So I have to make sure to just wear briefs in case it just flies out of my underwear and it just like goes onto the floor. So I wear briefs and make sure that. But the sheets are not super expensive and you could literally just, when you buy this online, just buy a whole bunch of sheets just so that you have them. So if you're walking and you're sweating and stuff like that, this does kind of stick to your leg, but that's realistic two balls, so I really like that feature. It makes me feel like nice. I don't know how to explain it. I'm going to um, show you a couple of packers so we can kind of see the difference in sizes. So this is, I'm just gonna stick it onto my hand, okay? How great is that? Um, at the conference, the, they had a booth and they were like, high five, and you would go and they would stick this to your hand. And it was just, it's a good way of showing how sticky it is, honestly. I'm gonna stick this to my hand just so I could show you the difference in the comparison. So, this is the Mr. Limpy. I have reviewed this multiple times. I'll put the reviews to all the ones that I'm also talking about in the description below. So this is the size difference. They are very, 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 very similar, okay? In terms of like everything, this is just, you know, this is like memory foam, okay? A little bit, that's what it feels like. This is the EZP by Transthetics, so you could see the, this is not an STP by the way, just a, just a packer, but just to show you the difference. People would just wanted to know what the different size is. This is the Pierre by New York Toy Collective, so it is a lot longer. Um, the squishiness is also different. See, this is like, it is very memory foam. I've never felt a packer like this in my life. Uh, just to show you another, this is the Jimmy STP. And then finally, this is the uh, classic packer by uh, Real Magic. This is what I usually use to pack with literally every single day. I love this thing. It is so squishy and nice. And then this thing came along and took its place. Look at that ball. Okay, here was my biggest thing. I was terrified that I was something was gonna happen and I was going to accidentally burst these balls, okay? And um, I was assured that there had been extensive, extensive, um, 
testing on it and that it doesn't burst, I'm still very cautious. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna lie. I'm still very cautious um, that I will one day pop these and then there will be coconut oil all over my pants and I really hope that that day does not come so I am a little bit careful. I'm not like banging um, my junk and stuff like that. So I'll just show you really close up and then we'll kind of show, I'll show you me in clothes. This is what it looks like and then the back here, there's like a, for some reason like a tab there. I don't know why it does that. And then this here, and that's how it goes in your pants. It feels absolutely amazing. I'm gonna show you now in some fancy underwear that I have, in some boxers. I'll show you in my skinny jeans that I wear, in some shorts, and I will show you in sweatpants. And I will show you sweatpants without underwear because, yo, you know, you know what it looks like. You know, you know, with, when people with the wiener, okay, and they, um, they have a wiener and <laughs> they wear sweatpants without underwear and their dick goes flying everywhere. Oh baby, just wait. This thing does that. I know I'm excited for that and it's like embarrassing. Some people don't like that, but I love it. I feel, oh, oh, and the squeeze test. Hunty, on my birthday, I had friends there. Everyone was great. Some of my friends had phalloplasty and I was like, grab my balls. I love when people grab my wiener um, if they want to, obviously consent. And they went and they were like, oh my God, this feels like mine. How amazing is that? I felt so validated because this, oh, I'm just, I'm touching myself right now. Okay, let me just show you. So this is what it looks like in pump underwear. These are my gay, cute underwear that I love. This is ugly, but like, if you wanna see what I look like in underwear, you're gonna have to deal with it. So this is what it looks like here, okay? I really love the way that it looks down here and the way that it makes me feel. So let's go on and do other clothes. So those were briefs, these are boxers, okay? There's no, un you see that? This is like wearing sweatpants, it just kind of goes and it's not uncomfortable. Um, it doesn't have kind of like a lip underneath like an STP would, so it's like you have to keep it behind, between your legs. This you can just like, you just leave it between or you leave it just slightly outside your legs and it just, yo, I look down, I literally feel like this is my penis. You, I just feel so validated. I know I have some people out there who like jock straps, so I wanted to show you. Also, I want to show you my booty, because why not? But this is what it looks like in a jock strap. Again, I feel very validated. It feels very good. The like, the underneath, like that's where the balls are. I, my friends sometimes like, can I just go and grab? I'm like, yes, go do it, do it. So the thing is that I didn't wear boxers for a while uh, because I used to only wear briefs because I was packing with something that didn't have a harness or anything like that, but I found that because this is adhesive, it's not gonna go anywhere, I can wear boxers again. And these are Saks bo boxers. They need to sponsor me, okay? <laughs> this has a kind of like a, a ball pouch where you put your balls in so it doesn't actually touch you, which feels really great and it feels really natural. And also these are the softest underwear in the entire world. Um, so they feel like really, really good and it just, I just like it. I also like when like somebody goes and like this is consensual. It's like we're doing stuff or we're together, or whatever. And somebody just like this is a sex thing, okay? Somebody like goes and grabs it. I just feel so validated. This is what it looks like with sweatpants with underwear. Okay, it's right here. I'm not gonna show you without underwear because it was basically like literally what the boxers were showing. Kind of just goes everywhere. So yeah. So this is what it looks like with um with with sweatpants. So it is there and it's pronounced, but it's not huge. And this is what it looks like in my skinny jeans that I wear every single day. <laughs> it looks like it's a big dick, but it's just a light. Oh no, the, the, the button wasn't button. There you go. This is what it looks like. Very, very natural, feels very good. I feel very comfortable. I would also love to say, okay, that I recently finished my thesis and I did my thesis defense and I had to wear a suit and because I wanted to look fancy. And I wore this wiener in suit pants and it felt really good. I'm not gonna take them out right now because they're like really far away in my closet, um, but they did look really good. If you look at pictures on my Instagram and stuff, you see that dick. <laughs> all right, I think I answered all your questions. Um, just one thing I wanted to let you know. I saw this comment on this video and and I wanted to address it. Somebody asked, will this work for people who are overweight? Here's the thing, I can't answer this question um, because I don't have personal experience because you were explaining a specific scenario about um, having a stomach that kind of is overbearing over or that you have a FUPA and stuff like that and I don't want to give you miss information and inaccurate information, I'm hoping somebody in the comments will be able to answer that question. Can this work if you are overweight? My educated guess is because it is adhesive, yes, it will work and it won't be super uncomfortable. Um, and if you don't want to use the adhesive, you could just, you know, you, you can remove the tab. You can cut the tab a little bit if you want and use this just as a packer and put it in packing underwear. Um, so that's my, my, my best guess for that. I'm sorry that I can't answer that question in more detail. I'm hoping that 
I can get a better perspective from people in the comments and that I can incorporate that in some more videos because I know that there is such lack of information about that specific topic. So uh, hopefully that uh, is a thing that we could kind of figure out in the future. So I'm sorry that I can't answer your question, but I wanted you to know that I am not ignoring it. I am trying to do something about finding this information for you. So yeah, so that's it. If you were interested in purchasing this, you could uh, get a discount until the end of the month. The discount code is AmazeChase and you get $20 off. If you wanna buy any other products on the website, uh, you can use the discount code CHASE, which is a forever discount code, and you get $5 off any purchase over $20. And that excludes um, all of the um, payment plan ones. And also, I know that this is a little on the expensive side, and I'm saying how amazing it is. If you are interested in it, they do have payment plans on the website, so please take a look at it. That's my cue to go. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Have a great week. Bye.